Hello and welcome back to the Feminine Upgrade. Today we will be talking about bad habits feminine women should avoid. So let's jump right in to the first habit. Being rude for no reason. A feminine woman has the understanding of her own feelings and others' feelings and knows that being rude adds nothing good to the situation. She will be nice even in a bad situation and knows when to dismiss herself from situations that lack substance. Habit number two is eating with your mouth full. Sometimes people may ask you something while you are chewing. Don't answer them with your food still in your mouth as it is nasty and you may accidentally spit some of the food out while talking to them, which is just a huge no. So instead, just finish chewing first before answering. The third habit is being on your phone too much while around people. If you're around family or friends, don't be on your phone. You know, put your phone down and enjoy the moment with them. Be present in the conversation. Habit number four is cussing too much. Cussing a lot is a masculine trait and it's not a good look for a feminine woman. It doesn't make you sound smart either. So try to avoid using foul language. Habit number five is getting sloppy drunk. You should test your limit of alcohol in private because while you are out with people, you don't want to get sloppy drunk. Where you are falling over and being belligerent, it's not flattering and it makes you look less desirable and irresponsible. Habit six is being too loud when you are talking. Obnoxiously loud is annoying to those around you. It makes you look like all you want is attention. Someone who looks like they want attention is giving off a desperate type of vibe, which is one of the many vibes we want to avoid, which brings me to habit number seven. Being desperate for love and affection. If you are in a relationship, don't do too much for its attention and don't be too desperate or obsessed with him. Many guys find that to be a turn off and so they turn on their manipulating ways by thinking, okay, this woman loves me so much and really wants me, so if I cheat on her, she will probably stay with me. Being desperate leaves room to be disrespected. Habit number eight is being unorganized. An elegant woman plans her week out and manages her time well. That way, if new plans arise, she will know if she can make it or not. Habit number nine is living in filth. A feminine woman keeps not only an environment that looks clean, but an environment that is actually clean, such as dusting around the house, vacuuming behind and under furniture, cleaning things with soap or cleaning spray, and washing things regularly. She doesn't leave things spilt, she cleans things up right as they happen. Habit number 10 is wearing old raggedy clothes. It's okay to wear old clothes as long as they look fresh and new. Don't wear faded colors, shirts with rips and tears in them, clothes with stains on them. Make sure you are replacing clothes that are tattered. Habit 11 is overworking themselves. Women should never overwork themselves as it can lead to all types of health issues. Instead, make sure that you are taking time out for yourself to relax and recollect yourself. Habit number 12 is causing a scene out in public. Sometimes we may be out in public and someone calls us with some drama. It's too easy to get into it with that person and start yelling. Or even if that person is out with you, save the yelling and arguing for a later time. And even then, when you two are alone, try not to yell as it will disrupt your aura of grace. Instead, say what you need to say sternly and don't keep talking in circles with the person. Habit number 13 is talking about your intimate love life with others. Let some things be private. If they weren't there when it happened, then chances are it's not information meant for them. Let your partner be solely your partner. Don't start sharing details with your friends because that's when he becomes theirs as well. And habit 14, which is the final habit, is oversharing. Stop oversharing. Leave some things to be just for you. If you got a promotion at work, don't share it with everyone. Some people hate to see other people winning and their bad energy can attach itself to you, which we don't need happening. And so that is all for this video. Let me know what you guys think about these tips. And if you guys do any of these things, let me know down below. 
and don't forget to subscribe and I will be back with more videos for you guys soon. Bye.